Yo guys, what is up? It is your boy Voltjak here and today we're going to start a new series with, and you can see it already in the background, the great old, the one and only Royal Antwerp FC, the best club in Belgium. Before we get into the video, if you're new to this channel, uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe, like the video, leave a comment and let's get right into it. All right, Royal Antwerp FC hired Thomas. They have confirmed the appointment of Thomas as the club's new manager. I was have been raised. I know, man. I'm 24. I'm, well, actually, I'm 25, almost 26. So I should change that. Who cares? Um, I'm gonna earn 3.9k per week. Oh sh snap! Well, he replaces previous manager Frank Verkouten. Yes, Thomas lacks of reputation as oh uh, what. Well, Thomas lacks a reputation of a title specialist, which, given the club's current ambitions, creates an intriguing dynamic element at the challenge. Bro, I'm, we're, gonna just, we're just gonna win the title. We're gonna win the domestic cup and we're going to Europe. Alright, so what do we need to do? We need to sign Belgian players, yep, yeah, obviously. Play entertaining football, no problem, because that's the way I like to play. Uh, play direct football, yes, can do. Work within wage budget, easy. Finish in top four, doable, which semi-final, we're gonna win it. Euro Cup. The Euro Cup, be competitive. That's gonna be the hardest one from all of them. All right, so the way I want to play with Antwerp is Gegenpress. We're gonna use a 4-2-3-1 white. We're gonna play Jean Boutet in goal, but right back. Put the right back, put the lad, oh, the Marchand, central, Batubusika, central, put Euclorot on the right, then we put the lad on the, uh, I mean Euclorot on the left, obviously, we put the lad on the right. Central midfield will be Verstrata and Jakens with Faroon as a backup player. Um, from the right will be Miyoshi. In the middle we have Rafailov. And on the left we have Lemkelzi with Mbokadi up front. Alright, so this is a squad. This is how I want to play with them. The, this is a tactic we play. We're playing an attacking gagging press with early crosses because we have the one, the only Mbokani. He's um, 185 up front. That's a little bit. I thought he was bigger. But he has a lot of strength um, in the duel, so he will win most of the duels. Uh, early crosses for him. Uh, we put Miyoshi and Namgoze on the. We put Miyoshi and Namgoze on the wings because they have speed, they have agility, technical abilities, and they can make the actions to present Mbakani with the crosses. Rafailov, he is, well, he's our playmaker, so is he actually? Yes, he is. Thank God. All right, in the midfield, we have Gerkens and Verstrata with um, Harun as a backup. Then we have Juklerot back left. He's fast as well. Yeah, he's fast as well. He can, uh, let's put him on attack. And a lot as well on attack, yes. These two will go up front to help Lemkalze and Miyoshi create chances. Now we have Batubinsika and Le Marchand, two big guys, if I'm not mistaken, 185 and 184. So that's a good back two. And now we have Boutet, he's, he's the main keeper. He should save us from losing, basically. Right, um, let's have a look at our finances. We have... A bit of wage budget left. We have a bit of transfer budget left. That's not too bad. We have 7.9 balance. That's good. Well, this squad is going to look different in a few years. Holy damn. All right. So I will see you back at the first. We're not going to do the friendlies. Let's just see you back in the 9th of August for the first uh, league match. All right, so we have now come to the point where we will officially be starting our season with um, the Great Old, our first match against 
uh, Circular Bruge. Oh shit, international period. That's great. Uh, let's put Boya in. We're losing our striker right away. That's just perfect. Uh, how are we gonna solve this? I'm gonna put him here. Put Lamgelze up front. There you go. We put him Buta and another striker. Avinati. Do we have everything now? Yep. All right, we're good to go. All right, so here we are for the match against Circle of Bruges in Bruges itself. So our first match is a away game, but that's okay. We can still win away games. It's taken a while to get our first uh, match highlight. Did I even put them on? Yeah, keep just key highlights. Yeah, that's how I want it. Is there really nothing happening? Come on, man. This was the most boring first half I've ever seen. Holy shit. Uh, what are we going to do? Point finger. Uh, I'm not happy with the performance. We should win. All right. Come on, boys. Uh, there you go. There's a first highlight of the match after 61 minutes. And it's a red card for boy. Oh, God, that's just great. Oh, this is so pathetic, dude. All right, we're gonna do this. We're gonna put Rafael on the right side, put put that out for a sec, and put in an extra defender. Oh, we need to change our mentality now. For fuck's sake, bro, bro, dude, what's happening? Why is my game tripping? Well then, that was our first match. I, I've never seen a boring match ever. Oh, I'm not happy. This is some BS. This, Bruges is a relegation candidate. Like, all right, let's just go straight to the second game against Ghent, which will be a much harder game. All right, so instead of playing the Ghent game, I decided to play the um, Bearscott versus Antwerp game because it's this, the city derby of Antwerp to see who's the best team in Antwerp of course so uh, we're gonna play this one instead of Ghent we actually drew the one in Ghent uh, where is it schedule yeah we drew this game as well no 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 highlights same as the the first match so I'm hoping this match will be a bit different with a lot of um, Highlights. Uh, I also made a new signing, Mitchell Bucker from uh, BSG. He's gonna play a um, left back. If we're gonna get him off, Lukaku, and we'll put Bucker as a sub. There you go. Well, actually, I'm gonna start Bucker because he has a great form, so he might as well help us. Uh, is he not attacking? Yeah, he is. That's good. Um, is anyone else available? This will be the team we're playing with against Bearscott for the Derby of Antwerp. And let's hope we have a lot of highlights now this time. Alright, here we go. Not a home game, it's an away game, so it makes it extra exciting if we win here. Let's see what we can do. Oh my god, I've just seen the formation Bearscott is playing with. What the hell is this? There's a highlight. Our new player, Bakker, pushing up front for the cross. Nope. There's Gherkins with the assist for Ampoma. And we're one and up. There you go. It's gonna be the team of the city. And drop. Moved up uh, to fourth place as well. And we're one and up in the first half. So things are going very well. There you go. Now I'm gonna. Right, uh, I'm happy with the performance. First shot, first shot on target, first goal. There you go. We're gonna make a substitute. We're gonna pull off Refailov. I'll put in uh, Nil de Paul. Mm. Yeah, let's do this. All right, there's a, 
I was gonna say there's a second chance. Please take the ball. Thank you. And Poma on the ball. Pass to Miyoshi. Who gives back to Rafailov. Oh, I was going to put him up. If he scored, I would put him on. I, w I would keep him on, I mean. And with that one goal, we actually secured our first victory. Well done, lads. Good win for us. Thanks a lot. All right. So with that victory, we are going to end up the um, episode. Our first episode of the Great Old. Um, next time, we'll probably be back around this period. For two absolute major matches against Anderlecht and Club Bruges. Two of the top teams in Belgium right uh, right now. Um, so yeah, um, before we go, I may as well go through the transfers we did. There's only one coming in, uh, Michel Bakker from uh, PSG, as I said. And we also sold two guys, Mateus to Heracles for 1.1 million. And we also sold Boakje to Genk for 450k. There's one coming in very soon. Pembele, also from PSG, also center back, young player, three star current ability. So there's a, a lot of good things in the future coming ahead. All right, so guys, if you have enjoyed this episode, leave a like, um, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Check out our other series um, I'm doing with Greg as well. Uh, it's called the uh, Past the Safe. It's a fun series, I think. Um, so yeah, I will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.